Hello dear students, welcome to Axiomaticos. This video is the part of the solution series for IIT Jam 2010. So we are here with this problem 8 of your paper. This is a problem from abstract algebra. So let us have a look. Let Rx be the ring of real polynomials in the variable x the number of ideals in the question ring so we have a question ring and the question is demanding us about the number of ideals inside this question ring right so now let us proceed so let us firstly see what is given to us we are given with the ring of polynomials okay rx is a ring of polynomials okay and it is given to us that they are ring of real polynomials so we are given with ring of real polynomial now inside this rx there is a ideal which is generated by this polynomial x square minus 3x plus 2 okay so inside this pol r, uh, ring r there is a polynomial generated by this okay so I hope you understand the definition for the uh, for the polynomials and for the ring of polynomials and for the ideal. Okay, so I'm not going to explain that thing here. So question ring is okay formed. So question ring is what is the definition for the question ring R by I? It consists of polynomials like this. Okay, so if you have understood the concept of question ring during your class or your when you were when you were studying abstract algebra then you must have studied this type of question ring so r by i is defined like this okay so we need to find out the ideal inside this r okay r by i sorry we need to find out the ideals now what i i am going to write i am going to write a note for you and this is a very important note regarding the regarding uh, finding the ideals inside this question ring r by i it's a very important note and this will help you always okay so what is that note it's very simple ideals of the question ring question ring r by i okay are the ideals are the ideals of of r containing i are you getting my point or not so it has a simple meaning this note has a very simple meaning that ideals inside this question ring r by i are actually the ideals of R that contains I. What does that mean? Suppose you have an ideal I1 which contains your ideal I, then R by I1 is an ideal, is an ideal of R by I. So this is the meaning. That's why I am writing it for you. Okay, now this will be very helpful for us to write an ideal of r by i okay so we need an ideal so finally what we need we need ideal that contains this ideal x square minus 3x plus 2 now if you understood the definition of ideals then you just see through it okay just see that if you need an ideal that contains this ideal then that ideal must be generated by a polynomial such that that polynomial px divides x square minus 3x plus 2 are you getting my point or not what i mean by that well, i will repeat everything again suppose you want a super okay super ideal of this what is the meaning of super ideal that contains this ideal so that means actually what you have to do you have to find out a polynomial that divides this 
now this polynomial the ideal generated by this polynomial will be the ideal which will contain this ideal okay so this is what i am trying to suggest here are you getting my point so just go through the definition you will feel it yourself that why this px will be a, a ideal which is a super ideal for this x square minus 3x plus 2 are you getting my point or not so just do it yourself so finally what i have concluded that if i got a polynomial such that that polynomial px divides it then the ideal generated by this polynomial will be a super ideal for this ideal are you getting my point or not so let us see how many possibility your polynomial has so you, you can write this as x minus 1 into if you will factorize it you will end up with this these two factors now since px is dividing this then what can happen px will have three possibility either px is this are you getting my point or px is this or px is itself x minus 1 dot x minus 2 okay so the only ideals inside so what we have concluded so ideals in r of x that contains that contains x square minus 3x plus 2 are ideal generated by x minus 1 ideal generated by x minus 2 and itself are you getting my point or not so finally what we have proved that there will be three ideals okay there will be three ideals so first one is rx by x minus 1 will be a ideal okay inside this question ring r by i rx by x minus 2 will be the ideal inside this question ring r by i and finally rx by x square minus 3x plus 2 will be the ideal inside this so there are only three possibilities are you getting my point or not so there are only three ideals inside the question string so that means let us change the color so that means a is incorrect b is correct c is incorrect and d is incorrect okay so this is how we should proceed uh, with this question so thank you